To further my experiences in STEM, I'm here at Sunshine State Scholars. One of our favorite events of the year and being able to showcase how STEAM and education can really empower students to go on and change the world. I think this is an amazing program for them to be part of. When you talk to these kids, all you're seeing is uh, solutions. You're seeing hope. We are relying on them, depending on them to step up. STEM really just pushes the world forward into the future. You're making new things, you're inventing new things, you're coming up with new ideas, creative new solutions. I'd just love to you know, tell all my friends like, hey, there's, there's other people out there who are looking forward to going to college and studying math and studying physics and studying chem and studying biology. This is, seems like a great opportunity for people of the same mindsets to come together and you know talk about stuff that they love. I think it's really cool how we get access to so many connections here. I actually already met someone who's interested in the same major. A lot more people are like willing to learn here. Networking is just really the true value that I think is going to come out of this. It's really eye-opening. The conversations are a lot more engaging. It makes it feel as if you're more connected with other people in your age group. Um, and it also provides hope that we'll be able to unify and conquer not just today's problems, but the problems of our future. So just being on that cutting edge and being able to design products that can help people using that technology is really appealing to me. It's amazing just because like I can say something complicated and they know exactly what I'm talking about and so we can just like build off of each other. But I'm learning stuff from them that I never knew before. It's something special. This generation is the future of STEM and I'm super excited to be a part of that and be able to be at this convention. I feel like I can go back to my guidance counselor and tell her about all I learned here and that way she'll be able to help other students learn about the other colleges in Florida and just give more information. I think something I'll be able to bring back to my community and my peers is the knowledge of first of all the different colleges that they can go to and the different opportunities that come with them. Hopefully that will inspire other people to be interested in Sunshine State Scholars and be interested in these schools at Sunshine State Scholars. The facts are we have got very smart kids here in uh, our state. So it's our responsibility and our challenge to keep them here. Recruiting these high ability students is very important because they are going to be the leaders, the future leaders of the next generations, of the coming generations. So being able to help shape and mold them and being a part of that is something that we love to experience. I think it's really important to connect with 11th graders so that they can see all of their options, uh, see what there is uh, within the state of Florida. We have the number one ranked state university system in the U.S. It's nice to be able to talk to them, show them the scholarship opportunities that we have for them. We want students who are academically skilled, but we also want students who are excited about things outside of the classroom and getting that hands-on experience. Um, and that's the students that we see here today. You know, they have a focus for a career. They want to do research. They want to, you know, get involved on campus. For any of the scholars that are here today, they might be that missing piece that sparks a whole new level of innovation. We are strongly invested in the future of our state and our country. We uh, support this program. I would tell future scholars to step out of their comfort zone because I find that that's the most exciting part of life. It's great to know that there's people like you who might go out there and do those great things. And so that gives me great hope.